side just slides out. You can see the inside looks really clean, which is great. That means water isn't getting in there. You can see here it looks pretty dirty. see the cup style bottom bracket. Um, bearings just sit on the outside of the bike normally. Um, I have this bike out. You can see on this one the entire bottom brackets inside this area. See that the bottom brackets have got these notches on here, splines, which I'm going to use this tool. You can see with the with the external style bottom bracket. There's a lot less leverage on the bearings since, you know, with this one, the, the, the pedal arm remains in the same position, only the actual bearings change. So they actually, they actually are moving the bearings, they take the bearings and they're moving them out so you have less leverage on them, which a lot of people have issues with these creaking and stuff. That's their fix. The best comparison I can give you between bottom brackets and... There we go, so we got the external versus internal. And you can see the difference. We got bearings outboard, bearings inboard. Guess which one was creaking on my bike. So once you're assembled, an easy way to double check you've done everything right is to make sure that this edge of the shiny part lines up with with this face. So when you slide it through, you need to make sure that it's flush. That way this face can mate with it and it and you're not you know if you had an extra spacer in here or it was too wide, you know you'd it'd be sitting out like this slightly and you'd see on this side it's not all the way in. And same thing if you had too few spacers um, it would be poking out too far on this side and you'd see some of the shiny part and then you'd have it being able to wiggle back and forth. Another style of crank set too that would use this um, where this locks the, the pedal and the crank arm together so you can like unscrew them and like separate them. This style, it's not, it's not for this style and I don't have a, an example of it but it's just out there so it's nice that Park Tool was able to find something to do with the other side of their tool. So those are tight. I don't think bo bottom bracket shells don't usually come loose. It's not something that needs to be torqued, you know, by Hulk or anything. It just needs to be tight. So these these are on there, and um, I, I'm gonna use a little bit of thread locker. The first the first few times I did this, I didn't use thread locker and it just seems to come a little loose every so often so I'm just going to use a tiny little bit because this is red, I ran out of blue um, so I still need to be able to get this off every so often and we'll use a 8mm Allen head wrench This bolt does need to be pretty tight. If this bolt's loose, you'll wear out the the really tight fit between the the splines of the shaft of this pedal and then the receiving side of this pedal and, and you'll just end up having pedal the thing will be moving around like this when you're pedaling and that's just you're gonna have a bad time is the main thing. So um, yeah, so we got these ones back on. 
I like to use waterproof grease in all my on all my bike stuff even if it's you know there might be a better grease out there but the waterproof grease is what's in my grease gun so who cares I don't care I guess is a better statement